In this video, we will show you how to create a custom image gallery in WordPress. To accomplish this, we will use Gutenberg gallery widget. And then I will show you how you can create an image gallery using a plugin. So make sure to keep watching this entire video till the end so you never miss a thing. So without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you have to do is to log into your WordPress dashboard. And once you will be logged into your WordPress dashboard, go to the pages section where you want to display the gallery. So I'm going to this pages section right here. Click on add new page. After that, give a title to the page. So for now I am giving it gallery. Then from here, click on this small plus icon. And then in here you will see this gallery. If you will not see this gallery, simply search for gallery and then select this one right here. Then click on media library. If you want to upload images, click on upload file and then select all the files that you want to display in the gallery. But in my case, I'll choose some of these images that are already uploaded here. So I'll use this image, this one, this, this this and this and probably this one as well then i'll click on this create a new gallery after that i'll click insert gallery and now right here you can see this is how our gallery is looking now in order to customize this gallery click right here and you will see this option right here you can decide the number of columns you can choose one column two column three column four column or any number of columns other than that you can choose whether you want to crop the images so i do not want to crop the images i'll uncheck this one and then we'll hit publish here once you will hit publish this page will get published then let's review this page in a new tab so right here you can see this is how our gallery is looking so for now i'm not able to click any of these gallery items in order to do that go back to the page and then once again click anywhere here until you will see this block settings here then make sure you hit anywhere there you will see this gallery and then from here in the link to make sure you click media file and then hit update go back to the gallery page that we have created then i'll hit refresh and now if i click here you can see that now our images are opening in a light box and now we can expand all of these images now let me show you how we can create a sliding navigation arrows in this gallery so in order to do that go back to the wordpress dashboard go to the plugin section and then go click on add new then in here search for WP Feather Light. This is the plugin that we want to use. So simply click on activate and install. And once you will do that, go back to our gallery page. I'm refreshing this page again. And now if I click here, you can see we have these arrows here. We can click here and it will zoom in and zoom out so we can use these arrows in order to navigate between these gallery images so i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever we upload a new video thank you very much we'll see you in the next video